obvious question, but I ask them, what, what's this like for you? It's, it's incredible. Amazing. Um, I think when when I came here, I was with a club for a long time, and, and someone said to me, why did you leave and come to Luton? And this is why I left the club. Yeah! We you said, in one of the first interviews I did with you for BBC Three Counties Radio, you said, it's not a quick fix. There's no man with a magic wand that can come along and sort it out, but it's been quite a quick fix. <laughs> what I tried to explain was, I actually think you have to put all the components together and it's very difficult to know how quickly you can do that. But the, the football side, you know, it sometimes takes time. Uh, but what, without a shadow of a doubt, put it together for you, you're fantastic. <laughs> Uh, talks about the players, the work they the support, the effort that they put in. You, you, you just think they've been different class. It, you know, you, you come to a club and, and although you can know players, you, you don't know them inside out. And, you know, you, you start working with them and, you know, I just have a way of doing things and it really, really is difficult. It's difficult to work hard. I, I, I know I have a lot of sayings, but one of them is hard work, working hard and to continually push and push and push and when times get difficult to push again we lost some decent players when we lost Guts and Jonathan Smith and Andy Parry from our midfield and I could have gone out and perhaps tried to get an experienced player but you know what we had three kids with Luton Hearts we had Cameron we had Robbo and we had Kelly If I hadn't, I might have been able to go and got a bit more experience, but I couldn't have gone and got three players with the heart for Luton Town that those boys had. Now, we did an interview quite recently, and, and uh, you told me about a gentleman in the audience, uh, I can't remember the game, I think you, you, you told me the game, that said to you something along the lines of, John Still, you're a... We, we, I'm not sure we can say that. Can we, can we just, luckily, the mic wasn't in front of your mouth. Um, and he's, he's, you've spotted him. No, no, no. It's a different one. No, that's no. We, we, no, I haven't seen him. You haven't seen him since? Um, but the, the Lincoln game when Ronnie had a word with him. Okay. He's become our biggest fan. And you know what? I, I admire him because he was one of the people. That become one of us. Should we get him up? Yeah. Get him up. Let's get him up. Yeah. Chuck him over that barrier. Let's get him up. <laughs> so this gentleman is almost your representative. Yes, absolutely. He, he, he's, he's, he, he's become your representative to us. We've never liked him. <laughs> Listen, you, there were one or two people before you took this job that told you not to, weren't there? Um, yeah, when when, I, when it was sort of going on, the conversations were... were, were hey! <laughs> yeah. and when the, hey! when the conversations between the, the club and myself were, were going on, um, I just took some asked for some advice from some people that would have been close to them and probably everyone here would know them. and they were saying why would you leave where you, where you were and maybe it wasn't quite the right thing to do but it's funny that was the thing that made me do it because the challenge of doing this is what I think life's all about you know to take something on that some people think it's not possible well we made it possible yeah. 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 Um, it's all right, isn't it, being up here? Fantastic! Come on, you two! Yeah! You've been thrust forward as a representative for the fans. What has this season meant for you? It's been the best season of my life. It's fantastic. The players have been tremendous. Those still one I think that pretty much says it all. Uh, oh, we're in Oh, we're in
Just before we, uh, we let you go, um, there are one or two people not here today, um, and I think it's worth mentioning them, David and Hack. Yeah, um, unfortunately, hey! um, unfortunately for, for Hacken, um, his uncle died last night in Cyprus, wow. and uh, because of the, the religion, the, the funerals today, he flew back last night, but he sends his regards, and I know I'll take all your regards. David, uh, the, he, he wasn't sure about the TV side, which he'd promised. He was trying to come, but once again, he said, wishes to you all. And uh, I'm going to ask you the same question, the final question that uh, we've asked one or two of the players. I know you can't, can only control the controllables, but uh, straight through League Two? Very happy, and of course the players.